The answer is that in order to study the beginning and the end and to be able to locate that which connects them, you have to adopt a certain method of study. And that method of study is one which links the outward with the inward. This is called, uh, no, it's a big word, don't be scared with it. This is called epistemology. Very big word, but don't worry. Epistemology, a theory of knowledge. That knowledge is not based only on the study of that which is external. No. If you want to study, you need more. The knowledge that is externally acquired. You need also knowledge which is internal. Martin, knowledge which is internally received. We have with us Dr. Kamal Jamal, who is an excellent poet, and he has written on this subject of the external and the internal. He's sitting right here in front of me. Um, do we have a model? in which this epistemology is applied. So we can follow that model. Yes, remember Surah Al-Kahf is the Surah of Akhil Zaman, eschatology. And in Surah Al-Kahf there is a model. The story begins outside of the Surah in Sahih Bukhari and then it comes to the Surah where we are told that the most learned of all men, the most learned scholar of all, who is the model of scholarship in Akhir zaman you will find him, you will find him at Majma'ul Bahrain. You will find him at the place where the two oceans meet. They don't teach this in any university. No. You're not going to get this from a university. He is Khidr alayhi salam and this is my little book I love this one the most <laughs> and you can read this book in less than one hour hmm? in search of Khidr's footprints in Akhir Zaman this is the French but we also have the English downstairs so we need to combine the Two oceans, they have to be harmoniously integrated and Khidr has done that. What are the two oceans? You are all familiar now. That our view is that it is not Atlantic Ocean and Pacific Ocean or Indian Ocean, rather it is the ocean of knowledge, which is Zahir, which is externally acquired. And it is the ocean of knowledge, which is Batin, which is internally received. These two oceans of knowledge, when they are harmoniously integrated 
in a scholar. You now have the only one, the only one, who can study awwaluz zaman and akhiruz zaman and locate the nexus that which binds them together. Our tragedy is that this is no longer taught in the Darul Ulum. So we are no longer producing the scholars of Islam who can walk in the footsteps of Khidr alayhi salam. This epistemology that in order to study the world today and penetrate its reality, political reality, economic reality, monetary reality, military reality, that you need to see with more than these eyes. You have to be able to see with the internal eye. Before we end on the subject of epistemology, let us recall that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in introducing Khidr alayhi salam, I'm sorry that uh, my friend Mika is not here, the Orthodox Christian, because, oh, he's coming later. Mika said to me when I introduced him to Khidr alayhi salam, he said, but he resembles Jesus. Everything you said about him is the same thing like Jesus. Mika is coming later, inshallah. Allah said about Khidr alayhi salam two things. 